Good evening. We begin tonight with the news of a tentative bipartisan Senate agreement on what would be the biggest new federal gun legislation in decades. The package is narrow and short of what President Biden and many Democrats wanted. But in a statement, the president said, the sooner it comes to my desk, the sooner I can sign it, and the sooner we can use these measures to save lives. Congressional correspondent Lisa Desjardins here with the details. Lisa, what is in this deal and what's not? This is a big deal because it includes 20 different members of Congress, notably 10 Republicans. That's how many you need, of course, to get anything through. So let's take a look at what they agreed to in a handshake today. First, at the top of that list, uh, they would allow for searches of juvenile criminal and mental health records for anyone under 21 trying to buy long rifles, assault-style weapons. It would encourage state red flag laws to figure out who is at risk for violence. It would close the boyfriend loophole, which would prevent uh, those of, uh, who are convicted of domestic violence uh, with unmarried partners from getting weapons. And it would increase school mental health support. I'm told billions of dollars for that. John, what's not in here, though, is an increase in the age to buy assault-style weapons. Under this deal, that would stay at 18 years old. Lisa, this is a framework. It's not legislative language yet. What are the chances... Uh, this doesn't, or, or, or is there a danger this does not become law? There is always that danger in the modern Senate, but I will tell you today, both Republican leader Mitch McConnell of the Senate and Democratic leader Chuck Schumer said they like what they see, that is progress. So this is a breakthrough, but it's not the finish line yet. Lisa Desjardins, thank you very much.